Dr. David Kuby is a pancreatic cancer expert at Winship Cancer Institute. He spends a good deal of his time in surgery. Pancreatic cancer is a very aggressive cancer. If there are uh, five people diagnosed, only one of the five is a candidate for surgery. That's because pancreatic cancer is often not discovered before it's too late for surgical intervention to have a curative effect. In the early stages of the disease, there's usually no pain, so patients may not know they have a tumor before it is spread to other parts of their body. Located deep within the belly, the pancreas is a critical organ which produces digestive enzymes and insulin to regulate the body's blood sugar levels. The key with pancreatic surgeries and pancreas is to catch it early and follow up. Helen Byrne is a nurse, so knows the importance of early detection. She had gone to a doctor about a totally unrelated pain she was having in her side. A CT scan revealed several cysts in her pancreas. She was then referred to Dr. Kuby and Winship at Emory St. Joseph's, where a biopsy was performed. When it came back, it did show that it was the precancerous type, and um, Dr. Kuby said that it would have, it will turn to cancer at some point. The goal is to get it out before it gets there. And we did. Today, patients like Helen have more surgical options than ever before. There's the traditional open abdominal surgery, minimally invasive laparoscopic surgery, and more recently, minimally invasive robotic surgery. It's a newer way of doing something. It's, it's, a, it's a tool, um, so the, the technical aspects of the surgery are pretty similar, but you're doing it without making a big abdominal incision. And that can mean faster recovery times and less pain for some patients. If you're still removing half of somebody's pancreas, it's still a big operation, whether it's done robotically, laparoscopically, or a standard open approach. Though robotic surgery may not be the best option for all patients, there can be many advantages to using this type of Vanguard technology. With robotics, the surgeon sits at a different site. Um, they look in a console after the robot has been docked onto the patients, and they can see in three dimension. So we put the tip of it up in this direction. So you get um, increased depth perception. And then the other big advantage of the robot is that um, standard laparoscopic instruments rotate open and close. Robotic instruments have wrists and have more stability control. It enhances fine motor coordination, the ability to do complex things like suturing blood vessels, dissecting lymph nodes off of major vascular structures, peeling tumors away from these uh, structures as well. The robotic surgery really um, made uh, a difference for me in my recovery, and it didn't slow me down having surgery, hardly at all.